during what little downtime they have on the front line, soldiers find a variety of ways to amuse themselves. But for Gurkha soldiers, their pastime is considerably affected by British military rules forbidding the purchase of local produce. Rob Olver explains. Toes together into a diamond position, you have a straight spine. Talk to most British soldiers in Afghanistan and they'll tell you that by far their biggest morale booster is a TV programme called Aerobics Oz Style. Talk to Gurkhas and what seems to make them happiest is Nepal goat and chicken curry. When we get back from patrol and it's like when we get to eat our, eat our traditional food like curry then it's, it's really like good, good for us. The Gurkhas also prefer meat freshly slaughtered, but buying Afghan livestock is against operational regulations, now reinforced after the fatal poisoning of nine Lashkagar policemen. For chefs, satisfying Gurkha appetites is proving a challenge. They now rely on frozen meat from as far away as New Zealand and Uruguay. A Gurkha's tradition in, back in the Nepal, we used to have the meat all fresh. That, that sort of taste, uh, boys, uh, wants to get here. They may not quite produce authentic Gurkha dishes, but with clever use of the army's biggest spice cupboard in Afghanistan, the chefs seem to have come close. They cook very good, you know, Borkha curry, and you know, the guys from British, uh, British, uh, uh, British guys are also uh, now they like our food. And it really doesn't matter where the Gurkhas are, even in the remotest of checkpoints they still have their traditional food. Checkpoint Lamar in the Nari Siraj district is one place that's had to use frozen meat to make messing, the traditional Gurkha curry with all the bones left in. Frozen chicken is quite uh, taste, uh, different than the first one. Uh, obviously, yeah, first, uh, first one is good, yeah. The temptation to buy goat is high, even at the local going rate of $300. But what matters most, say Gurkhas, is cooking and eating together as they do back in Nepal. It's um, like a big morale in the evening, have chat with each other, take, talk something about that, eat this kind of dinner. So it's um, really a high morale for us. The Gurkhas say they've never abandoned their traditions on operations and they're determined to retain as many as possible in Afghanistan. Rob Olver, Forces News, Nari Siraj.